Hi guys, today I am showing you how I made a kind of tree for the kids to decorate themselves. I don't always like them taking things on and off of our actual Christmas tree, so I thought that they would like their own little tree to decorate. So we've not got much room in the house for a second tree really, so I'm doing a flat tree and I'm using a big giant cardboard box that I've I've had lying around and I'm covering it with some green poster paper that I, I've also bought a while ago which I normally use on our display board. I'm just gluing this down with some print stick and then I'm drawing an outline of a Christmas tree on it and cutting it out. Once I had cut this out, I then, I'd stuck it to the door with some sellotape, I mean, duct tape that I used. Hi guys, so I have picked up some command uh, hook things for decorations and lights. I'm just going to stick them all over the tree for the kids to hang all the decorations on. So putting these hooks on the door, I just followed the instructions of what it said. It said to stick the um, double-sided stick tape onto the onto the tree first, and then to take the piece of paper off and stick the hook onto that. And I really, really like these hooks. They work really, really well. My only issue was our cat decided to just attack everything because it was low down for the kids. So the tree's not looking its best after after a while now. We've had it up for a couple of weeks and the cat just has been attacking it. It's missing loads of its little hooks and it's also been ripped a little bit. So I don't see us being able to save this, but I can always recover it and put new box on for next year if I want to. And then Max came over to help me decorate it. Come on up, come on in, nothing better than to give the gift of cheer. So I had to put all this up and the kids had been decorating it for a little while. And the cat had already pulled a couple of hooks off, so I thought I'd better stick the hooks back on where I could. And get the video before the cat did actually destroy the tree a little bit more. But the kids have really, really loved this being, being up for them to decorate. And I just thought it was a lovely idea if anybody else wanted to do something similar. Just make sure you've not got a cat. And the kids really enjoy it, just having a little basket full of their own little decorations that they can 
sometimes go in and take the things off when they want. For the top of the tree, I put some Velcro on so that we could just stick like an angel on there or we could swap it for a scarf and it's still instead of it being like a hanging decoration it can actually be stuck on top like a prop Christmas tree. While the snow is gently falling If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button for more content like this. Thank you for watching, I will see you again soon. Bye!